Okay, hi everybody, this is Mr. Purdy. I'll let you see me. Hi, here I am. Hi. And I'm gonna, I just put together a little video for you. Hopefully I did it the right way this time. I'm walking over to my computer and this is Thursday, May 11th, after school at about 10 after, almost 10 after three. And before I rush out the door, cause I've got to do a couple things, I need to go to Costco and buy your stuff for the SOL. I want to do a little video for you first. Um, so on the morning of the SOL, please come into my room, come into my room and get your mints and your brownie, okay, on Tuesday morning, okay, and I will have outside the door your uh, room number and your proctor in case you forget, outside my front door, I will put that up there, and so here you are, you get to your, you get to your testing location, put your backpack in the front of the room up here, all right, find your seat, sign your test ticket, your test ticket, just sign your day, that kind of thing. You've done that a thousand times. All right, sit through the directions, the boring proctor spiel and all that stuff. It's just one of those things you have to do. And I'm just going to show you one, just a, one good way to attack this. Now, I've already taught you all the content that you need to know. And uh, I, I think right now you're in good shape if you really just do two things. Think. See the word think? Think. It's right there. And really just take your time. So let's just look at one. This is one that we've done before in class. Um, if you're a massive and honor student, uh, I'll pull up one for honors too. Uh, let me just show you one from math seven. Uh, honors to, math seven honors. Don't tune, don't tune this out because it's just more, more than the math problem. This is kind of a, a, the way I want you to, to, to uh, go about this. Look at the toolbar up here. You'll see uh, the calculator thing right there. See the calculator. Okay, I'll pull up the calculator. There'll be one for the formula sheet too. There's rulers and stuff like that. Uh, just like the reading SOL, this is one of 31. There'll be more than 31 questions. Um, this is what percent you've already completed. So you've, you've been there, done that. You've heard the, heard the song before. Let's just look at this one together real quick. It says directions. Drag the correct answers to the boxes. What fraction and decimal are equivalent to the number given in the, in the exponential form? So on the test, here's what you do, folks. If you really, want, if you really, really desperately want to do well for you, your family, your parents, for me, you really just, it's just a taking, the key is just taking your time. That's all this is. So take a couple deep breaths, read the directions, make sure you understand what they're doing. So many times we just want to dive right in and get the answer. Just think about it. So here's the idea. The question is this. Here's the exponential form. They want the fractional form and the decimal form, and then the answer choices are right down below. We're just going to click and drag them into the boxes. And I can actually do that on this test. Now, I'm going to go to my scrap paper here. I'm bear with me. I'm trying to hold the camera and write at the same time. So here's your 10, negative 2. Now, remember, remember I told you, 10, negative 2 is the same as 1 over 10 and then 1 over 10. That's what that's the same thing as. Okay, which is, by the way, 1 over 100. It's also, 1 over 10 is also 0.1. So if you take 0.1 times 0.1, you'll get 0 0.01. That's just how you do it. You can do that. Long. You can do those. So now we're looking at 1 over 100, and we're looking at 0 0.01. And before I go to the computer, I'm going to check it and recheck. I'm going to look at my scrap work, my scrap paper, and say, all right, that looks pretty good. So 1 over 100 and 0 0.01. So back to my computer. I'll take 1 over 100 right here, and I'll click it and drag it into the box. And also my scrap paper, I got... 0 0.01. Now drag it into this box and there's your decimal. Now, I'm not going to hit next yet. Remember, here's your next button up here. Remember, there's no back button on this. Okay, I can't go back to a previous question. Now, I'm going to look at it one more time. I'm just going to stop and think and make sure I am 100% sure. Take as much time as you need, folks. See, if you rush, you're going to get you're going to make silly mistakes. I do it too. When I write solutions, I make silly mistakes if I rush. I do it too. All right, and I'm happy. I'm going to hit next and go to the next one. I'm going to do about two or three of these with you. Again, Mass 7 Otters, don't tune me out here because this is really just more test-taking strategies than anything else. Okay, here's another one. Which two statements show a number and its equivalent written in scientific notation? Now, remember, scientific notation can only have one number in front of the decimal place. 
So this is 1.325 times 10 to the seventh. Is that seven places? Well, if you count, we like that one. Now, I don't need to write, write a whole lot on scrap paper here. I can kind of eyeball this, and, and I know that one's true, so I clicked on it. Now, this is a big number here, and that's a negative exponent, so that's wrong. I'm going to skip it. This one has two numbers in front of the decimal place. Skip it. That's not scientific notation. This one is a small number here, but a positive exponent, that, which tell, tells me it's a large number. It can't be that one. Okay, this one is 1.02, so far so good, and that is actually six places to the left. That one works as well. So I'm going to click on the box, but I'm, here's, the th here's the trick, folks. I'm not going to submit it yet. I'm going to just stop. I'm going to reread it. I'm going to look at the answers and make sure I'm very, very happy with it. Please do that. Please do that. So I'm going to just stop for a minute, catch my breath. Eat a mint, eat a lifesavers, okay? I'm not kidding. Do this, okay? And I'm gonna eyeball it again. This one's good, I know this one's bad, bad, bad. Top and bottom are good. I'm gonna check it one more time and when I'm happy, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna hit the next button. Okay, one or two more and then we'll stop. Directions, select all the correct answers, identify each true statement, okay? I don't, I don't need scrap paper. You don't always need scrap paper. I'm going to look at this, and let's just see. Always go to the bar first. The absolute value of 9, if you can see my cursor, the absolute value of 9 is 9. That works. The absolute value of negative 4.1 will come out positive to positive 4.1. Look, works. This one says the absolute value of 3 is negative 3. That can't happen. Skip it. The absolute value of negative 2.6 is negative 2.6. No. The absolute value of 7 is negative 7. No. The absolute value of negative 8.5 is positive 8.5. We like it. But don't. So don't submit it yet. Just look at it. This is where so many people make mistakes. They just go too fast. Just look at it. I'm sorry if my camera's a little wobbly too. It's been a long day. I'm tired. Okay, I've, I'm, I'm happy with those three. I'm going to make sure the ones I did not click are, are in fact false, and they are. I think we're okay. Okay, and folks, so far I've got 100% on this, not just because I'm the teacher, but because I'm thinking. Okay, last one, then we'll stop, okay? I mean, there's like 31 of these. I'm not going to bore you through that, but I want to do one with some scrap paper. Let's go back to the scrap paper. All right, type your answer in the box. Destiny, I love that name, wants to buy a scarf for her mother. Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday, by the way. The original price of the scarf is $26. Remember, I'm not doing any writing yet. I'm just reading it, not including tax. Okay, no tax here. Woohoo! we like that. The scarf is on sale for 25% off the original price. So that number, answer is going to be smaller than $26. What's the sale price of the scarf, not including tax? So on my scrap paper, just indulge me for a minute here. I'm going to go $26, $26 times 0.25. Now, this is what I wrote on my scrap paper. Sorry about that. 26 times 0.25 on my scrap paper. Now, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to go to my calculator. This is a calculator question. I'm going to scroll in the calculator, and now, what I, and you can drag this up and down, I believe, I'm just going to go 26, stay with me now, times 0.25, and I'm going to get my answer, which is 6.5. 6.5, when you talk about money, is $6.50. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to write $6.50. But I'm gonna, I want it's a discount, so I'm gonna subtract 26 minus 650. 26 minus 650 will give you $19.50. So now up here, I can close my calculator. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna type in 19.50. It's money, so please put in the zero. Now I'm not gonna hit next yet. I'm gonna just look at it one more time. Okay, does my answer make sense? $26 scarf, 25% off. It's a smaller price. I can recheck the math down here, and I'm just going to take my time. Folks, it's how you do it. It's how you do it. Okay, I'm going to hit next, and I'm just going to move on. After about every five, see where I'm at five of 31? After about five, six, or seven, I'm just going to stop, put another mint in my mouth, and just take my time time. It's going to take an hour and a half to two hours. It's a test of endurance, okay? And being able to check your work, if you can do that, 
you're going to do just fine. I know you all can do this. I know you can. I know some of you are new students to me recently. You come from another teacher, another county. Some of you were absent a lot of times. Some of you missed some of my classes for a while. You were out. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. But all of you can do this, okay? All of you can do this. Don't do this for me. Do this for you, okay? Let's get the best score we can for you and for your family, okay? Yeah, you're helping me out. <coughs> Excuse me. It is under my name, Purdy. But still, more importantly, I want you to do well for yourself, okay? Prove to me, prove to yourself that you can do this because I know you can. But folks, you have to take your time. You can't rush through this. You got to use the scrap paper. You got to write on your scrap paper. You can't just read it and click on an answer. That's how you feel it. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, now I get, of course, now I get the coughing attack right when I'm recording a video. I was fine all day. Now I'm coughing. Okay, this is how you do well, folks. Okay, it really is. Take your time. <coughs> look, I'm already, look, I'm already 12% done. That's not bad. I've only done four problems. I'm already 12% done. Okay, and I'll just go to the next one. I'm not going to do it now, but that's the idea. Okay, look. Prism is shown. What's the surface area? So I'll go to my formula sheet. And I'll write it out. I'll draw the prism on paper if I have to. Massive and honors, you got to you have to do this kind of problem too. Okay, find the surface area. If you forgot the formula, click on the formula sheet, and you're going to be just fine. It's a test of endurance and your ability to take take your time, check your work, and think it through. I know you can do it. I want this video to be exactly 12 minutes long, so I've got four seconds left. You all are wonderful people. I love you all.